Quinn, y'all hear me knocking, will let me in. As y'all can see, this is another update on my center console. It's not done. I need uh, one more thing, uh, Bondo glass for all the lows in there. Of course, around my uh, cup holders, I got to fill all that up, but that's last, that's detail. The bottom part right in there, that's got to be covered and painted as well. But uh, as y'all can see, I'm thinking this it turned out pretty good to me, YouTube. Of course, like I said, I need one more thing of uh, Bondo glass to come through and get all these lows up in here. And then, uh, you know, the front side, y'all know, and it's shaping up, man. It's coming into shape. Front as well, all up in there. Yeah, probably about one more key in the Bondo glass, y'all. But yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. That uh, good 80 grit. That good 80 grit been knocking it down. Y'all can see on the side. It need probably, yeah, like I say, about one more. One more thing of Bondo glass. And then, uh, of course, for the back, I'm going to do the back as well. So, yeah, that will be one more one more thing of glass because I'm going to fill all that up. Even though you're not going to see this back, YouTube, I know I like to have it all solid and all one piece. And then for the, like, the little areas like that and right there. And right up in there, I'm going to use the, the spy putty, y'all, the glazing. The glazing spy putty. But I got to go give me one more. One more can of Bondo glass, y'all. Hit it with probably uh, some 80 grit in my block. Smoothing it down. Hit all those, fill all those sides back up, all those lows. Cause I think that was yeah that was one coat, that's just off of one little you know one coat. And I can see the little exposed wood right up in there. Then I'm gonna round, round those edges off a lot more better than, a lot more better than what they are. I think it's turning out pretty good though YouTube. I'm starting to see a visual. Of course I'm gonna come in there with a. Find no glass and uh, fill all that up, make it look pretty, man, and bull nose around it. We got a good, a good little circle, a nice little cup holder circle with that little rounded off right there on the corners on both sides as well. Um, I don't know. I thought I fill all this up like I'm talking about. What's the best sandpaper grit to use? I'm thinking maybe. 120 grit that's from with 80 that got me there but you know after i fill it up and fill all my imperfections out with one more case of a uh, bondo glass i'm thinking maybe 100 grit if y'all know the best to give me that smooth finish before i prime it and put my uh, glazing putty on what's the best uh best grit to you know get that a1 finish smoothness comment at the bottom please you two but uh, yeah, we turning out all right, you know. We still got a little bit more work to go, but we getting there, and it came a long ways. I remember like the other day, it was wood. But yeah, one more, one more can of Bondo glass, and uh, all that old, all those old craters. I call it moon craters because that's what it looked like, I guess. And one more glass of fill in all that, all that, and then I'm gonna put that block on it, hit that 80 grit on it, and it's gonna be smooth. This is the smoothest part, as you see on here. It's turning out pretty good, YouTube. It's turning out pretty good. See, I'm gonna have to go in there. Even though in the back, how I got it set up, I can adjust that. And then it's like the back, it has caps. So those are not tight, those are just sitting in there, just to see how it look, but. From the back, you got these, and you screw it in from the back. And how I cut it when I made it. I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all see how it's kind of countersunk in there? 
the little ring on the outside. I got those so when I put that little piece, these pieces on there, I can screw them on there real good. But yeah, YouTube, that's what we looking like. Next time y'all see it, I should be pretty much done. It should be at least prime. Got my little prime or whatever. But uh, all right, YouTube, till next time.